Everybody, thanks for watching. We're in Traverse City at HelpLink, uh, but talking about Spark in the Dark, and we'll get to a few things here. Abigail Byers standing with us. Thanks uh, for making the time. Thanks for having me. Okay, Spark in the Dark. Explain this. What does this mean? So Spark in the Dark is actually a Facebook group that I started in 2015. And what we do is we connect people in need with uh, other people and organizations that are able to help. All right. So... Give us an example. For example, somebody needs help. You will sort of connect the dots or connect them with people. Yep. So it can be everything from I need baby clothes to I just had a house fire and I have nothing. And it allows people in the community, your neighbors, people down the road to be able to come out and say, hey, I've got a bed or hey, I've got a couple of dollars to get you from here to there. It could be anything you can think of, really. OK, so give us some uh, a story that sticks out in your mind of how you've helped somebody. Oh, I got so many favorites. Um, probably my favorite currently was just a few weeks ago. We had a older woman who's got a boyfriend out in Oregon, and he was uh, admitted to the ICU. He got very, very ill. Uh, they weren't thinking he was going to make it. We posted on Spark in the Dark because I just couldn't handle her broken heart anymore. Um, we posted 15 minutes. Somebody called me and paid for her plane ticket and sent her to Oregon for 10 days. She just got back. Wow. Right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so how many people has this grown into? I mean, you started, and now where are you, and, and what kind of uh, response are you getting? So we started with all of 50 people in 2015. Yeah. I woke up to 350. Now, two years later, we are at 3,600 with about 119 new members a week. Yeah. Um, the response obviously is good. We're filling a big need for people. All right. And aside from that, you're also doing swing shift with the stars, right? I am. It's been kind of a crazy. I danced last year. So this year it's my charity involved. Oh, is that okay? So they're, ra they're helping raise money for this. Yep. They're helping yeah. raise money for Spark in the Dark. We are the youngest nonprofit ever actually to be accepted. We were all about two weeks old when they invited us to join them. Very nice. All right. So let's talk a little bit. We're at HelpLink right at the moment. You're involved with that. What is HelpLink? So HelpLink actually is a uh, drop-in center that works really similar to Spark in the Dark, uh, but here in person. So you're able to come in and meet with an intake specialist, tell us what your immediate needs are. Maybe your electricity is getting shut off or you're getting kicked out of your house or you just become homeless. Those are the big ones we see. Mm -hmm. uh, you're able to come in and we hook you up with resources. So people like Salvation Army and Father Fred and make some of those phone calls on your behalf. And then we actually work on getting you into budget coaching classes and mentoring programs and things that, so you don't have to come visit us again, really. Right, right. Now, for HelpLink specifically, uh, where do you get your funding and how does all that will come together for you? HelpLink actually doesn't have, we don't have a, um, a funding bank of money, so to speak, outside of what we need to run the office. Right. We work with local churches and we work with all of the nonprofits and we seek out their funding to help people. What have you learned about those in need in our community while doing Spark in the Dark or being with HelpLink and all of this? Well, how are we doing on helping people in need? There, there's a lot more need than people realize. And it is not because of a lack of hard work or even a lack of having a job. It is just things happen. I mean, cars break down and who knows, anything right. and everything. And I think the biggest common misconception here is that people aren't working for their money. And if they just worked harder, they would be able to help themselves. Right. It's really, really not the case. All right, let's go back to Spark in the Dark. How can people find out more about what's going on with Spark in the Dark, either if they are in need or if they want to help out people? Uh, so the the quickest route is to go to Facebook and find the Spark in the Dark group. Ask to be a member. I'll be the one approving you. Um, and then you can just jump right in. The rules are at the top of the page. Really, the big thing is be kind and take what you need, not what you want. And then we have the website is sparkinthedark.org. You can always contact and reach out there. If you want tickets to Swing Shift, we still have a few of those left, too. Excellent. Abigail, thank you. You're welcome, Mr. McCarty. Spark in the Dark, helping people in need. Check it out on Facebook. In Traverse City, I'm Vic McCarty for My News 26.